everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch Suicide Squad movie Katana figure from Mattel. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we see with all the multiverse. You've got the red box with the black highlights, the Suicide Squad movie logo up top, then you've got the DC Comics Multiverse name. The figure's clearly displayed in the window box packaging, and then down below, you have an image of the character and the name. On the side, you again have an image of the character, and then on the back, we see all the the regular figures in the Suicide Squad wave and the Croc Collect and Connect figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, first of all, this figure comes with the croc crotch and the head for the Killer Croc Connect and Connect figure. And once we have all these pieces, once we've looked at the final two figures, Boomerang and the third Joker figure, which I should get to this week, then we'll put this thing together and we'll do a review of Croc in its own review. So be sure to check back for that. Now, besides that, we also get uh, two katanas. We get the larger katana sword and you've got the black handle with some gold trim and then you've got the silver metallic. Actually it's more of a, a gray metallic coloring for the blade. Not a whole lot of detail with this. You do have some sculpting detail on the handle. Same thing with the smaller sword. It's pretty much the same thing only shrunken down a little bit. And then you get a sheath for each sword. So this is just plastic and you can slide the sword in there for each one. You get a big one and you get a small one. And then they've actually given you a place on the figure so that you can uh, store these sheaths. It's a, a belt piece and they've just got little loops so you just slide that in there. And so now you can store both of her swords. For the figure itself, I think it's an okay looking figure. I do think the face is a bit off. She actually looks a little bit on the chubby side in the face. I don't know, maybe the shoulders, but definitely something a little bit off with the face and really doesn't look much like how she did in the movie, the actress who plays her in the movie. The hair is kind of a hard plastic and then you've got this one piece that comes down in the front and she's got the mask on and you've got the eyes painted in, which isn't too bad. And the skin tone's pretty good on this one. She's got this uh, shoulder thing, this little uh, ribbon thing that she wears, which you can actually remove. It's just kind of a vinyl material, and so you can actually pull that off if you want to. And I actually think it looks a little better without that. And then she's got the coat, and the coat is a separate piece. It's a vinyl material that's glued on. The sleeves of the coat, of course, are sculpted like we always see. And then she's got the fingerless black gloves. She's got the white shirt, and then, again, a lot of skin tone showing. And the skin tone's pretty good. Looks like she has some scars. I'm assuming that's what these lines are supposed to be or, or sword scars or something. The coat's got some pretty good detailing with some gold metallic for the flowers and she's got some writing on her pants. I wonder if this actually says something. I, I can't read it but I wonder if it actually says something. I don't know. But you know nice detailing again on the back here as well and on the back of the coat. So you know like with the most of the figures in this line I like the detailing with like the tattoos and the paintwork and stuff in that regard. The figure stands about six and a quarter inches tall. And here she is with her other Suicide Squad teammates, and she seems to be the shortest of the bunch. Seems pretty good as far as scale goes. Articulation, she can turn her head to the left and she can turn it right. She doesn't have much in the way of back and forth movement. You can get her arm out good. She's got good rotation there. She does have a bicep swivel. Only has the single hinged elbow. She also has a swivel there at the elbow and swivel at the wrist. No hinges on the hands though. She does have an ab crunch type joint, but really can't crunch down very much. And she can only look back a little bit. She does have a waist swivel, has those side hinge joints for the legs so she can do the splits good and she can get her leg forward about that much and she can do her leg back about that much. She does have a thigh swivel. She has a double, actually she only has a single hinge knee and then she has hinges on the feet so up and down movement but no rotation and no ankle pivot and no peg holes on the bottom of the feet for this one. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I would say this is a pretty average figure. If you're a fan of the multiverse line and specifically the Suicide Squad movie figures, I think this is one you'll still definitely want to add to your collection. However, I do think this is probably my least favorite as far as how it captures the overall likeness of the actor or actress from the movie. None of them are 100% dead on, but I think this one is probably the worst of the bunch. I don't know, just something that throws off with the shoulders or you know the face is just kind of off to me. Still, I do like the detailing with like 
the paint apps on the coat and the writing and everything with the flowers and stuff. I do like that detailing, the swords, I like that. I like how you have the sheaths that you can remove and stuff. So from that standpoint, I still think it's a decent figure. And as I said, if you collect the Suicide Squad movie figures, I think you'll want to add this to your collection. Now this figure is seeing a limited release. I picked mine up off of Amazon from a third party seller. I haven't seen them in physical stores yet, but if they haven't already, they should probably soon start hitting physical stores. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description below. And until next time, I'll catch you later.